Several dozen Libyan militias have held a march in the city of Benghazi to denounce the U.S. raid which led to the capture of Nazir Abdul Hamid al rukai known by his alias Abdu Anas al-Libi, a Libyan citizen accused by the U.S. of involvement in the 1998 bombings of two U.S. embassies in Africa. Al-Libi was seized by U.S. special forces from a Tripoli street outside his home and was whisked off to custody in a U.S. warship last week. The capture of Al-Libi has angered many militiamen who accuse Libyan Prime Minister Ali Zidane of collaborating in the abduction of the Libyan citizen. The U.S. raid is believed to have prompted Zidane's own abduction earlier this week when gunmen stormed the luxury Tripoli hotel where he lives and took him away, holding him in a basement prison for hours until he was freed. Zidane has lashed out at the militants following the incident, saying they wanted to turn Libya into another Afghanistan or Somalia. In a televised address to the nation, he called his kidnap a coup against legitimacy and said he had no prior knowledge of the U.S. operation to capture al Libi. Lawlessness in Libya has been rife since the fall of dictator Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Militias have defied attempts by the weak central government to rein them in and often use violence against officials. The lack of a strong government has led to fears the country may disintegrate along tribal lines and has left porous borders, with weapons from the battle to oust Gaddafi being used to fuel conflict in Egypt and Mali.